Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today I'm watching episode 11 of the first season of Sympho Gear. Uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. They're still fighting that gigantic army of noise that have very, like, militaristic-like weapons. Oh god! Good thing the schoolgirls got out of there. I also like how seriously they're shooting when it doesn't seem like it does anything to them whatsoever. I think it'd be more effective if they just ran around trying to distract them. How many times? Is that like a running gag with her? She reminds me a little bit of that uh, character from... Uh, <laughs> day day live it's like always uh she says so lame to like everything it's kind of fortunate that like people don't die as gruesomely as they could they kind of just disintegrate into dust Good thing you were there at the right time, I guess. Seems they don't want to do that leap thing they do again. It must be a only a one-time thing. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I wonder if that's part of the building or if like that was there long before they made the structure there. Could she hear him? Wow, those are, uh, <laughs> those don't seem very soft. Slightly push. Why is some why are so many characters are like really rapey? It is an easy way to make a character seem unlikable, but <laughs> nice shot.
I feel you would have lasted longer if you ran. I guess it was all part of his plan, huh? Wait a minute. That's Ryoku? I should I have known that? Like was was that revealed and I just didn't know it was a reveal? No, he's not. Like, not even a little bit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, no, he has a red shirt. This was called from the beginning. I should have known. I was so distracted by his tie that I didn't notice the red shirt. I feel the hole opened up was quite a bit bigger than that. At least those holographic keyboards are still working. You know, I kind of feel like the injury he sustained wouldn't be able to be shrugged off uh, with bandages. But who knows? That's the power of martial arts. Yeah, they kind of revealed that earlier.
But how can she transform? Oh, I don't know if I've been saying anything. I, I said, uh, I forgot to press the push to talk button. I don't know how long I've been forgetting to do that. Hopefully not long. Um, shoot, I hope <laughs> it hasn't been too long. Uh, I was saying, does her Sympho gear change her hair color? I kind of thought Hibiki would react this way. So they were separate people. Okay. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Also, somehow she looked better back then. That's a very interesting form of uh, eternal life. I love how working with the Americans is like a really bad thing. <laughs> Just like an anime. Very colorful tower. That's not that tall. Oh, come on, Piccolo. I think they're just going to do really bad things to the tides.
they can transform A triple transformation. Oh, I was kind of wondering they would all they would incorporate all of them in one animation instead of just putting them all side by side. If something is boiling, how does it turn into dust? Doesn't it just evaporate? Oh, I guess they're, yeah, they're finding out for the first time. Ah, I knew she was going to say it one more time. <laughs> That said something that I don't have the ability to read. Oh, she's melting it up. What I mean by that is uh, a reference to Fate Grand Order. I wonder how easy it is to destroy, though. If it was a tower built in ancient times, it might just be built out of, like, stone. I feel she's seen the movie Doctor Strange Love and has taken a little bit of inspiration from it. Oh, she's doing the thing. That's cool looking. Yeah, that's a little bit surprising, isn't it? It's supposed to destroy the entire moon. So there's the same kind of song that was used in the beginning where the girl died. All right, there we go. So I guess Chris did? It's it seemed like it just passed her and probably still going to destroy the moon. Oh, wow. Um, well, I guess the moon is cracked now.
I'm surprised there, there's remains of her. It kind of seemed to me like it completely vaporized her all at once, but I guess not. There's two more episodes after this, so I wonder how that's going to go. They still haven't defeated Fine slash Ryoko, so got to do that. I feel that Chris might come back, but I'm not sure. I mean, I, I feel like the fact that they showed her like remains falling down means they could probably still save her with some sort of magic thing. I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.